Welcome to another Teaching Tip Tuesday. And again, we're going to talk puppets. This one is Pentatonic Bear. Now, he is a folk manners puppet, and all of my good puppets are folk manners puppets. Yeah, yes, we love them. I don't think you can get this one anymore. No, but I've got you. All right, so I use him for a couple of things. So Pentatonic Bear is his name. So of course, sometimes he just comes out when we sing the pentatonic scale. Yes, sometimes we sing to him with the younger children when we're learning about piano and lullabies and we sing. And as we're singing gently, quietly, we put him to sleep. Our aim is to put him to sleep. And it's so beautiful. The children sing so well when he's asleep. And he wakes up. Oh, no, we have to sing again. He's still awake. So let's sing a lullaby to Pentatonic Bear. And we watch him go to sleep. Sorry. Sometimes we will do, let's copy Pentatonic Bear. And he will do various things on the beat because he's very clever. Yes. Sometimes we'll just use him as an inner hearing puppet. So we sing inside our head, out loud, inside our head, out loud. And inner hearing is an incredibly important skill. Uh, so that is Pentatonic Bear. That's the main ways that I use him. Yes, yes, you're a hero. Thanks, Pentatonic Bear. Yes, yay.